Fam bam, good morning. It is a, another beautiful day in Minnesota, even though it's negative 11 degrees and I'm not making that up. It's freezing out here, but nonetheless, it is a beautiful day. Um, man, this is the best that I've felt in a long time. Uh, I feel reset, my spirit feels centered, my body feels centered, and you know my mind just feels good because I took that time that God has wanted me to take for some time. And um, you know, I just feel good. Um, and I want to share that with you guys. I want to share my fasting experience um, because you guys have been on this journey with me these past few days. So you guys know that originally I set out to fast for three days and I decided to extend it to seven because I felt that three wasn't long enough. I strove for that. Um, and when I was going for seven, I decided to stop at five and I wanted to share my experience of why I decided to stop at five and kind of what God has told me uh, during this fast. I felt that when I was on the third day, I kind of felt like God's still pulling me towards him to just, to get, just to get closer with him, you know? And then I spoke to Joe, who I was doing the fast with, and I explained this to him, and he said that he thought it was good and just to listen to God, and he said, um, he suggested, Joe has done longer fast, and he suggested to uh, maybe we should go for seven. Um, so I was like, okay, let's go for seven. And when I was going for seven, um, I decided to tell you guys, and when I decided to tell you guys, I'm like, okay, I'm going for seven, and this is what I'm going for. And as I was going on my fast, I realized that once I got to like the f like four and a half, five days, God's voice kind of wasn't there anymore for me. What I realized was that I was more focused on hitting seven days to say that I got to seven days and to tell you guys that I hit seven days for my own self to say that I did it, you know? And God kind of revealed that to me as I was going for the seven days. I couldn't really discern his voice anymore because all I was focused on was myself and hitting the seven days. And what's crazy is on the second day when I told you guys God was about, spoke to me about me being prideful and not giving him credit and me doing things for my own self and to say that I did them, my intentions were good to go for seven days. My intentions were good to tell you guys that I was going for seven days and God was speaking to me to go longer. But that quick, I got lost in my own self, even though my intentions were good to hit a goal to say that I did it. And it was this full circle moment for me during my fast that God told me, this is how fast it can happen to you. This is the condition that you're in, is that even though your intentions are good, you can get lost and focused on you. And when that happened to me, when I was sitting on the fourth day, I was like, wow, <laughs> like, no, this happened on the fifth day. I was like, wow, like, like it's fast how like that can happen that fast. So when I was sitting there, I was praying about it and I couldn't really discern God's voice and my voice because now I'm, I'm lost in the sauce, right? I'm mixed up in my head versus what God wants me to do. And I'm sitting there on the couch, it's like 11 at night. This, and this is on the fifth day, it's like 11 at night. And I'm reading this book um, called Gentle and Lowly that I told you guys about, but I'm also going through this book called Kingdom Man by Tony Evans with Joe. And in the book, he talks about, um, you know, with your wife, everything that you are experiencing, you go to your wife and you speak to your wife about it because you want to let her in on like your journey for your, from your, for your heart and your mind and what God is doing to you. So God told me that in that moment and I called Charlotte out after she got back from the cabin and I told her what was in my heart. I said, babe, you know, you know, I strove to go longer for three days and I told the fam, ma'am, and I agree, agree to it with Joe and I feel myself in this performance mindset again where I'm doing it for not the wrong reasons, but for my own self to say that I did it. And I explained that to her and she told me, babe, like, you know, if you feel the need to stop, if you feel like God's telling you to stop, then you should stop. Because if you if you go further than, than what God wants you to do and you get to that point, it'll be the opposite of why you started the fast. And soon as Charlotte said that, I heard God's voice again. And God said, that's why I sent you her. This is your partner. And this is who you go to when you have these kind of um, decisions to make. And I saw Charlotte in a different light right then and there. I saw my relationship with God in a different light right then and there. And I, just, I stopped on the fifth day. And it was crazy because as soon as I ate my food, I can like hear God's voice saying like, you did a good job, son. You listen and you learn. And, and in these five days, the thing that I taught you on the second day is what I want you to work on until the next time you fast. 
And I decided that next, the next time I do fast, I do want to do seven days, but I'm not going to tell anybody. It's going to be between me and God, and that's it, because it's between me and Him. Although my intentions were good to tell you guys and bring you all on, on the journey, that fast was between me and Him, right? So I think next time I'll do it and I'll share it after, but I don't want to have these, these goals that I put out into the world and then I can't really switch my mind yet because I don't have the spiritual maturity or the strength to see past myself and to see what God wants me to do and how God wants me to share the story. So that's what happened. Everything that he told me on the second day is what he wants me to work on. And I don't know right, I don't know right now why he had me go longer or why he had me go to five days when I didn't really hear anything in the two days. But I think it's because it's that one thing of me reaching out to Charlotte and recognize that that is my partner for life that I go to her for everything. Because to be honest, me and Charlotte have been struggling a little bit in our marriage with communication and things she has going on. Um, and that was a big moment for me to connect with her in that way um, because God told me to. Um, so yeah, that was my experience during the fast. And uh, I feel so good to get back into videos. I feel so good to just start creating again um, and just continue to share these stories. God's brought so much to me about the kind of videos that I'm gonna be making going forward in the growth um so yeah um so the video on thursday is going to be an update for me and charlotte so that'll be exciting for you me and charlotte to talk to you guys about what's been going on and then the next week is february and then i'm excited to start february uh on this new journey with you guys so so uh thank you so much fam man for really just listening to me and going on me with this journey um of my fasting and kind of resetting myself it means so much to me I'm excited and I'm excited to uh, keep sharing with you guys. Um, I put those two books that I read during my fast in the description. Also, if you guys sign up for the newsletter that I'm gonna be sending out soon, um, I'm excited to share that with you guys. And yeah, I will see you guys on Thursday. So.